We have come from near and far to Their teenage son still in the hospital tonight, three and a half months after being struck by lightning at summer camp. And now, only on WLWT tonight, this Loveland family is talking with us about the daily struggles with their son's health, also the long-term battle still ahead. The thing could be anybody's kid. He wasn't um, looking for trouble. Uh, he was at summer camp enjoying himself on a day probably very similar to today when, uh, when he was uh, uh, impacted by a lightning strike. The family of 13-year-old Ethan Kadish understands the challenge ahead. I don't know if I can say that things are going to be okay, but I can certainly say that things are never going to be as bad as they are today. And that they'll continue to improve and improve and improve. We've found many friends over the years whom we've supported and they've supported us and now it just seems that everybody has, has come out to rally around our family and it is so heartwarming. The family is preparing their home for his return in just a few weeks, but they know Ethan's recovery is dictated by what he can do. They pause every Friday as a family to reflect on Ethan's progress. And to be honest, uh, Curtis, every Friday we've, we've felt like we've made progress. Um, and so we'll continue to, to look at it that way and try not to take too much uh, meaning in any one day, but to look at it over a week and a collection of weeks because we know that it, this is going to take time and take patience. I'm Curtis Fuller. Hospital, Ethan Kadish is finally home. The 13-year-old Loveland, Ohio boy had been hospitalized since June when he was struck by lightning while attending summer camp near Indianapolis. This is the drive Ethan Kadish and his family have been waiting months to take. I've been looking forward to this for 145 days. The Kadish family had no idea that when Ethan left for summer camp in late June that he wouldn't come home until November. I am so happy that we're all going to be spending the night together at home. Finally, we're all going to be home when I get home. Uh, spirit, strength, and determination to uh, work on his recovery the way he has. Ethan still has a lot of recovery in front of him. His bedroom has been moved to the first floor and many modifications have been made to the home to help him through the process. He's come from, you know, the intensive care unit to, to home. And he's come from uh, needing a, a assisting assistance in breathing to uh, to breathing on his own. Ethan's story has touched the hearts of people everywhere. Roughly 400 volunteers, known as Team Ethan, have spent nearly five months cooking meals, staying at the hospital, and taking turns watching the. Chazak, chazak,